Bill Schwab, WineBuys.com here again. It's a casual Friday here at Wine Buys, and we are getting ready to leave the office for the day when our good friend Eddie Bauer stopped in with a brand new company here in Michigan, Executive Wines. And we're just tasting through his portfolio real quick before really getting the nitty gritty of it. And I got a couple highlights. The wine in our glass is the Coup d'etat Shiraz. Now, Eddie, why don't you give us a little bit about what's going on with this winery, because it's not your normal thing. Well, this is kind of a uh, unique winery in that they're making wines, the label, if you will, is making wines, or particularly picking wines from different regions. So we have Coup d'etat Shiraz from Australia. We have Coup d'etat Malbec from Argentina. We have Coup d'etat, excuse me, Bill, Pinot Gris from the Trentino district in Italy. Um, so the lineage represents the best regions to represent the best varietals from those areas. Outstanding. Well, we already actually tasted the Syrah here, but we're going to revisit it because it was very impressive. Um, it's not that oily, inky, overdone, uh, candied version of Syrah. Almost more roni. But still fruit forward, hedonistic, but definitely uh, more grip to it. Um, a little bit of that uh, roan spice, a little bit of that uh, 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 roany, maybe mintiness to it. You know, a little eucalyptus. And look at the color. It's not that boisterous, uh, uh, bright, artificial purple you find from a lot of these uh, uh, overdone Aussies. It's a, a nice, deep purple with hints of rose to it. Very, very nice stuff. And we're ready to move into the Malbec. I just can't throw that one out, Bill. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> this is the Malbec from Argentina. What I'm impressed with with this line is that it really reflects a high quality product for a reasonable price. Mendoza region? Not to do the hard sell, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's casual Friday, so we're taking it easy here today. And you'll see a lot of Eddie in the future. Uh, we're going to taste through his entire book, and we'll be there for you to do it. Nice spiciness to the nose. Really gets that uh, uh, bramble, cinnamon, clove thing together, which I've always thought that Malbec was a good... Um, sort of a, a hybrid of flavors between the, the fruit, the plummy cherryness that you find in Merlot's and the spicy, brambly sort of flavors you get from Zins. They made a good combination. Uh, while it is not a cross of those grapes, of course, it always has, seems to have a flavor profile of both of them. And nowhere is it better than South America. Arguably, maybe Bordeaux would raise a finger. <laughs> <laughs> the finger went up. Like, I had a mouthful of wine before I could say it. Uh, and, and black wine before. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're, they're different animals and, and really for different purposes. Uh, a wine like this is wonderful with a uh, big chunk of meat on the grill, uh, but I don't have a problem using this as a uh, cocktail wine. Delicious, delicious. End of the day, I might even have to have a, a glass of that uh, uh, for the road. Very, very nice. Um, Eddie, since this is so new, I don't even know what kind of uh, uh, price tag we'd be talking about here retail. Uh, I got a book here in front of me. So we are looking at. Uh, go by region, so up front. A. Argentina. Oh. Oh, we're very nice here. You're looking at a $13.40 dollars price tag here. Very, very reasonable. Uh, I'd say this would be in about the $13.99 range. Excellent bottle of wine. Very, very enjoyable. Thank you very much.